Hey guys, C Detective here again. Today we're going to Walgreens because I keep seeing these mystery packs pop up that have a one in 10 chance of getting a rare pack of cards. And I'm gonna go see if it's true. I'm gonna go buy 10 of these packs, open for you guys, and hope we get something cool. If not, there's nothing we can do about it, but I'm gonna be upset. But it's MJ Holdings, the product's made by MJ Holdings, and they have a pretty bad reputation. Even if you do get a rare pack, it's probably been weighed, but maybe not. I'm optimistic, and we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. So these are the mystery packs we're looking at today. One in 10 chance for our chase packs. Let's see if it's true. Well guys, I got good news and bad news. The good news is we got the goods. Bad news is these are 10 bucks a piece. I thought they were only $7 a piece, but they're 10. So I spent $100. And so, you know what? You need to like and subscribe to help this channel grow, please. Anyways, let's get back to my desk and we'll open these up. I've got a good feeling. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're back with all 10 mystery packs and we're going to open them and see what we get. I'm pretty pumped. This video is sponsored by my friend Colt who wanted to see me open something cool on camera. So let's go, Colt. Let's go. Okay, so pack number one, MJ Holdings. Don't let me down. I'm very excited about these. These are uh, something I've been eyeballing for a long time, but... $10 each, I just couldn't justify it. So, again, thanks to my friend Colt. <clears throat> Pack number one, Silver Tempest. You also get Alyssa Sparkle. Okay, Fusion Strike card. Code card from a Sun and Moon GX Challenge Box. And a Silver Tempest, so. $4 pack of cards out of a $10 mystery pack. Not what you want to see. Maybe we'll get something good. We'll see. Um, right you. And, of course, it's a white. Uh, it's Of course, it's a white code card. Come on. It's pack number one. Fail. Pack number two. Again, these are $10 each, so... We'll see. Okay, pack number two. It's a fusion strike. To get that Gengar, but I doubt it. And a Yamask Rare and a Code Card, Brilliant Stars. Pack number two, another $4 pack. So, again, you get one a 1 in 10 chance at a rare pack. So I still got eight more chances after this. I mean, we could get something cool out of these packs. We'll, we'll see. I'm gonna assume not. Another white Code Card. Are these packs are these packs weighed? Maybe. Okay. Pack number three. Is it gonna be ten dollars well spent or ten dollars down the drain? Let's find out. I'm gonna put it this way so we can't see what it is until oh of course it's gonna fall on the ground. But it's okay, because it was just a lost origin. <laughs> Come on, MJ Holdings. You you know what you are. Okay. This is another white code card. I'm going to confirm my suspicion that these packs are probably weighed. Because... I'm so shocked. It's a white code card. Okay. And this... Um, why is this card upside down? Is this a resale? Is this a misprint? Did I get scammed? I haven't seen a upside down card before. What in the world? Huh. I don't like getting scammed. I feel like I'm getting scammed right now. <laughs> My blood pressure is rising. Why is that code up? Why is that card upside down? So far, these are junk. So let's see if this one's going to be junk too. Man, I really feel. 
I feel like I've gotten bent over. A fusion strike. Who would have thought? If this is a white coat card, these things are scams. Let me make sure these aren't resealed. I mean, crimping everything looks good. Okay, yeah, these are weighed and these are scams. <laughs> I don't care what, I don't care what anybody says. There's no, no chance you should be getting this many white code cards in a row. These are a scam, 100%. MJ Holdings, shame on you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very frustrated right now. Nothing of value. You're better off just going and buying packs off a shelf. Okay, a Shining Fates. But this is another $5 pack of cards. I mean, you could buy this from anybody and I've got a feeling it's gonna have a white code card. What do you think? I wasn't born yesterday. But maybe we'll get a cool card. You never know. Okay, these are black code cards. This one is at least. So maybe we have a chance of getting something cool. I, okay, a shiny clobopus. And that's it. Well, so far I'm extremely disappointed. One, two, three, four, five packs left. And I <clears throat> feel very scammed. I don't like getting mad at people, but hopefully you don't buy these. I took the chance so you could see if it is a scam. And yeah. Again, I love you guys, and I don't want you to get scammed. I'll take I'll take the risk. Pokemon Go! Wow! <laughs> Another $4 pack of cards. <sighs> so disappointed, guys. You know, I know this is a gamble, and this company has... A very bad reputation for a reason, and I'm experiencing why firsthand. But maybe we'll make it up with a cool pull. We'll see. Ambipom, Slowpoke, Vipro, an Eevee, an Articuno. We didn't make it up with a cool pull. <laughs> okay, so we got four packs left. Gosh, I'm like. That card was upside down. I don't think these are resealed, but that's just so strange. Okay. Pack number six, what's it gonna be? A Scarlet and Violet base. I'm gonna really inspect this to make sure it's not resealed. I mean, the crimps look good. Doesn't look like it's been ironed. Maybe that was just a like error pack. I don't know, but that was very strange. Okay, it's a black code card. So Magnemite, Catcher, Clauncher, Winklone, Spirit Bomb, Ultra Ball, Krognuck, Rare Candy, Professor's Research. <laughs> it's always fun to open, uh, you know, dollar cards when you spend a hundred dollars. It makes you feel good about yourself. I feel great. I'm not, I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed. Okay, three more chances to get a rare chase pack. What's the chase pack gonna be? It's a lost origin. Wow. There's a Squirtle. <sighs> okay, Lost Origin. Another $3, $4 pack of cards. That's probably been weighed. Again, doesn't look like it's been resealed. I'm very skeptical. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, strike three. Is it going to be a white coat card? No, okay. 
Well, that's good. Shepet, Seal, Rockruff, Roselia, Litwick, Squovit, Drapion V. That's our full. That's our first pool. I'm sure it's like three dollars worth of cards, but hey. Okay. Oh man. Two more packs of these mystery packs. One to ten seated chase packs. What does that mean? Nobody knows. But it's provocative. Okay, it's an Astral Radiance. Again. Five dollar pack of cards. For ten dollars. Carbon weight. MJ Holdings. I hope you get a flat tire. Hope you stub your toe. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm not even mad anymore. I'm just disappointed. No, I'm mad. Don't buy these, guys. Do not buy these. Don't ever buy these. I mean, they're just a waste of money. Thankfully, this video was sponsored by my friend. And I'm sorry, friend, for wasting your money. <laughs> okay. Evolving Skies. Our first good pack. Okay, so we did get... Maybe this is a chase pack. Got a code card from Sun and Moon. Okay. I mean, Evolving Skies is like a $17 pack of cards. So maybe we'll get something cool out of this. We'll see. Last pack magic? Maybe. You, this isn't a joke, you guys. This is really happening. This is real. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Doesn't matter if the pack's seated one to ten if it's weighed, which these are weighed. This is a scam, guys. Don't don't buy these. Don't give this company money. Just don't. This is just a, such a scam. I'm furious. Look at my cool pool I got. Yeah. Well, guys, again, this was just kind of for fun to show you if these things are worth it, and they are so not worth it. Don't buy these things. Buy, spend your money on something else. Get you, for $100, you could get Pokemon 151 UPC almost. So get that instead, and that at least has some value in it. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like so I can bring you more stuff like this and make sure you don't get ripped off. Thanks for watching, guys. You just got CD Tech. Love you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye. Hey, guys. I know it seems like I'm mad that I didn't get a good pack of cards every time, which I'm not. I'm mad because it just seems like a big scam to me. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Again, I, I rewatched the video. I was like, they probably think I'm mad because I didn't get a, a rare pack every pack. And that's not the case. You shouldn't get white cards that often. I mean, I, I do because I have bad luck and maybe that's just my luck. But I just feel like it's... The, the odds seem very low that that'll happen. So... Is it a scam? I'm going to let you decide. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.